So in this video, we are going to talk about 10 things that you should never do in any technical interviews. And without any delay, let's get started. The number one thing is don't be unprepared. Always make sure that you have the idea of what type of technical interview is it going to be. Maybe they are going to ask like data structure or algorithm related problems or maybe they are going to give you a case study. Maybe they can give you a scenario that you need to code during the interview. Whatever the case may be, always ask this question to your recruiter. Recruiter is your friend. Recruiter wants to help you out and get you the job. So always use it to your advantage in the most significant manner possible. Understand from the recruiter's point of view what type of questions are going to be asked. Check out the LinkedIn profiles of the interviewers who are going to take your interview and make sure that you at least have the basic idea of the type of interview you are going to apply for. Now, if you are in a situation where you are not sure or you don't have enough basic idea, maybe ask for one week or two weeks of extension before the interview. It's better to be prepared and not have an opportunity rather than have an opportunity and not be prepared for that. So always ask for extension, ask for time, make sure that you are well prepared. At least you know the basics and fundamentals before you appear for any technical interview. So that brings to our second advice. In an interview, whenever interviewer gives you the question, always make sure that you understand the question, clarify the requirements and clarify the questions with the interviewer. So you and interviewer needs to be on the same page from the very beginning of the interview. And many times interviewers intentionally give you just a half of the problem or they avoid couple of important points and they wants to see that are you able to capture them or grasp them or not. So always ask this question, always ask clarifying questions, ask about edge cases, ask about that. Hey, what happens if the given input is zero? What happens if the input is null? These kind of questions. Make sure that you cover most of the ground before you move forward towards building the solution. So ask clarifying question. That would be the second advice. And that brings to the third advice. Don't be too silent in an interview. Always communicate your thoughts. So if you see a problem, if you feel like you are stuck or if you need maybe like 30 seconds or one minute just to think on yourself, ask that or convey that beforehand to your interview. Don't have those awkward pauses or awkward silences. They're really irritating and that brings a very bad impression of yourself in the interviewer's mind. So always, always think out loud, whatever you are thinking, just say, mention that, hey, I'm thinking that for this array, can I take this for this? Can I use a link list? Maybe this could be a time complexity. This would be the brute force approach. Let's see how can I improve the on the brute force approach? Always communicate your thoughts. And that is going to bring a really solid impression on the interviewer's mind because they would realize that you are a person who conveys their message in a very clear and frequent manner and this only comes with the practice so always make sure to practice for the mock interviews beforehand i cannot emphasize em enough on how important mock interviews are so find some friends find some group but make sure that you are doing mock interviews and in the mock interviews try to be in the position where you are always thinking out loud always stating what are your thoughts and that brings us to our next uh, advice that is poor time management that is one of the biggest mistakes that can have that can completely ruin your interview that if you get stuck in a smaller problem and then you maybe end up spending 35 minutes in that just one topic and you realize that you are not moving forward typically in any interview interviewer must have prepared somewhere between two to four questions so even the minimum idea is to complete at least two questions if you are able to do that that suffice that at least you know you have a good idea there can be some rare occasions where the problem is too hard and you can only complete one problem but that has to be a rare occasion and treated in a such in such a manner but for majority of cases at least try to be on time don't waste too much time talking about things here and there or uh, discussing like random events and stuff like that it's good to make small talk it's good to introduce yourself but keep it brief keep it concise the main chunk of your qualification judgment is going to happen on your ability to solve problems and for that you need sufficient time and that brings to the next point that always try to read the room try to see what interviewer is suggesting because many times interviewer are not going to say directly 
if they feel something is wrong but they will try to steer the conversation in the correct direction so whenever you realize that if you are saying something and interviewer is trying to contradict you there can be two reasons number one maybe you are going in the completely wrong direction and interviewer is trying to bring you on the correct path if that is the case always listen what interviewer is asking and think about it second scenario is that you are going in the correct path but interviewer wants to test out your knowledge and see that did you get this correct answer just by chance or you know the solid reasoning behind that in either cases interviewer is going to give you a hints or some ways to deviate from your current path or bring you to the correct path in either cases try to understand what exactly interviewer is asking think about it don't ignore it don't brush off things saying that no 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 it is not like that my way is correct that is that leaves a very bad impression so understand interviewer is there to make sure that you get the job you need to take every single word that comes out of his or her mouth as a, as a gospel so don't ignore interviewers feedbacks or remarks and that brings us to the next topic that is really important for any technical interview and that is poor coding practice always make sure that how can you improve upon your code this is something i personally struggled with and i am still struggling with so i'm trying to improve on my own i'm not saying that you need to be the greatest coder in the world but at least have some basic idea how can i stop doing repetitive work can i start using maybe some helper methods can i is there a shorter way to do it can i make my mo my code more concise can i make it clean uh, so these are all the practices that comes in handy and always practice this beforehand maybe try to code on a whiteboard or a piece of paper so you get the familiar familiarity of how the actual interview situation is going to be but always make sure to write or practice or writing clean code because this is a really important skill to have and uh, it can completely change your interview and that brings us to the next topic don't be overconfident and definitely don't be underconfident both things are disastrous and i know it's easier said than done that you can say that hey don't be underconfident or don't worry or don't take too much pressure or don't be super overconfident but these are the things that are embedded in the human nature so it's difficult to get rid of them and the only way you can overcome these things is by clear concise practice and that's where mock interviews come into the play so that's why again i'm bringing it up do as many mock interviews as possible because that is going to let you know where you currently stand if you don't know the answer or if you are not able to do it you need to practice more if you already know the answer you need to convey your th thoughts in a more precise more concise manner in both the cases you need to check that what type of person you are and always everyone loves a grounded person who knows a lot of stuff you are sincere but not too serious if you can maybe try to crack some jokes as well and uh, that should lighten up the room so that is always a good practice but joke should not be vulgar it should be in a good taste not in a bad taste so these are all the things that you need to keep on juggling throughout the interview because it's a very intense pressurized situation that they are trying to put you in and they wants to know that are you the person who can come through it in the flying colors and that brings us to the next topic that is don't neglect the behavioral questions because i know even if they say that it's a technical interview many times they ask some questions related to behavioral property uh, that hey if you had some conflict how would you resolve that or things like that and many times it would not be so direct it would be subtle that the interviewer is during the technical interview is also trying to judge you that how do you explain things uh, how do you deal with the contradictions between what interviewer is saying and what you are suggesting and all of these things they have enormous impact on the abilities to judge your so soft skills so make sure that you do not neg neglect the behavioral questions and if you don't see any behavioral questions still you behave in a very nice positive manner that everyone would like to work with and that brings us to our last two topic so second to the last is don't show lack of enthusiasm i know that interviews tend to be long and especially when you start doing the panel or final round interviews there can be like three or four hours of continuous back-to-back -back interviews so it's really difficult to keep your enthusiasm up to those peak levels but try to take some break in between drink some water always try to refresh yourself and come up with a smile try to lighten up the room try to make sure that you are 
ex you are enthusiastic about the position about the possibility of joining the company because every company feels that they are the best company in the world and if you are interviewing for that which means you are somewhere somewhat showing your interest in joining their company their culture so they want a person who is always going to be uh, at the high levels if i talk to you like this hey how are you you don't like it you like person smiling up uh, saying nice things uh, at least raise your volume little bit not too much don't shout but if you raise your volume and if you try to speak calmly and, and listen or see the person in the eye and try to convey these messages they, these have significant impact and it shows that you are interested and you are a person with lot of enthusiasm so always keep uh, keep this skill and that brings us to the last topic don't be dishonest many times in order to get a job people would say that hey i need to do this i need i can do this i can do this if you haven't done it be honest just say that hey i have never encountered this particular technology or this problem or this thing in my career so far but if i have to tackle it or if i have to do it this would be the way or if i have to learn it from scratch this would be my approach because it's very difficult to find a person who is 10 on 10 on all the skills it could be possible that you know five skills and then for other five skills you are lacking but they wants to know the person who has an attitude to learn because understand even if you get the job after one year or two years you are not going to be doing the same work you are initially doing so for that you will also have to learn new stuff and with the rapid change in the current industry tech industry we are seeing like with the rise of ai new cloud technologies new data technologies dealing with vast volumes of data uh, new streaming technologies coming in new payment mechanisms all the things are changing significantly plus compliance issues so you are always going to be learning 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 so they don't want a person who knows everything but they want a person who who can learn different things so always show your approach and be honest with your skills honesty and integrity are two main characters of any individual and they are highly sought after in in the marketplace so be a person with high integrity and uh, that brings my advice on what are the things you must avoid in any technical interviews uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about my suggestions if i missed any or if there is anything else i can do to make this video better uh, till then take care